Hey, GB kids. We are so excited about being with you for the next little bit. We're going to be helping to teach the video classes. So we thought that you might want to know who we are. So I know a lot of you already, but some of you I don't. And some of you I haven't seen in a long time since we haven't been able to come to church. My name is Michelle Rudolph, Miss Michelle at church. And so I'm excited to share things with you about Jesus and especially in September, about friendship. Hi, and I'm Mr. Todd. I go with Michelle. We show up there a lot of the times when we were able to be there, and we want you to know, too, that we really miss you guys. And mm -hmm. part of what we're going to be doing is, as we do these classes, you'll get to see us, and uh, there's nothing more exciting about learning about Jesus. That's awesome. Hey, I'm Ben. I'm the youth minister at Grace Bridge. So that means when you get into sixth grade, then all of your classes will be me. For now, me and Michelle and Todd and my wife. I'm Audrey. And as Ben said, we're married. Um, I'm very excited to be helping uh, with the children's ministry videos. I used to coach little kids in gymnastics. So I'm really excited uh, to work with you guys and to get to know you better. Yeah, so us four will be the people that you'll see each week rotating through. Um, we might have some friends join us as well. But Michelle, Todd, Ben, and Audrey, we miss seeing y'all, and we hope to see you soon. Love you all. Hey, GB kids, we are so excited about being with you. I really am excited about September. Our whole theme this month is about friendship, about how to be a good friend and being thankful for the good friends we have. We're going to read some great Bible stories about friendship. Well, in thinking about friendship this week, knowing that we would have this lesson, I've been thinking about one of my best girlfriends. She and I have been friends since we were six years old. So that's been a long time. <laughs> we have had lots of good times together. Lots of times when we spent the night at each other's houses and giggled. Lots of um, trips that we've taken together. Lots of fun things to celebrate. Birthdays and um, different parties. There have also been some hard times in our lives. And what I remember is that she has always been there to help me during those hard times. Mr. Todd is sitting with me. He has some very special Bible words to talk about friendship. Yes. Isn't it interesting, guys, that in God's Word, His Bible, we can find so many helpful things about living your life every day. It even says something in here about friends. I'm going to turn to the book of Ecclesiastes. We don't read a lot from Ecclesiastes, but it was written by King Solomon. And King Solomon was known in God's word as the most wise man ever. Yeah. And he got that because he asked God to be wise. That's a good lesson right there. It is. Ecclesiastes chapter 4, starting in verse 9, says, Two are better than one because they have a good return for their work. If one falls down, his friend can help him up. But feel sad for the man who falls down and has no one to help him up. Also, if two people get really close together, they will keep warm. Mm -hmm. But how can keep one keep warm by themselves? Though one can be overpowered, two can defend themselves, and a cord of three strands is not quickly broken. Mr. Todd, thank you. I love those Bible words. I heard four things in there that told me about how to be a good friend, and so I want to go back. Mr. Todd, can you tell me what that first one is? Let's talk about that for a minute. That first one says, two people can work well together. Now, I love that. When I think about working well together, Mr. Todd is one of my good friends. And so I think about times when I'm cooking dinner and maybe Mr. Todd comes in and says, let me help. I can chop the vegetables. Or he says, I'll set the table. It could be that a friend comes over and 
remembers to help clean up before they leave so that you don't have that job to do all by yourself. Or maybe when um, you're having a hard time learning something at school and a friend helps you understand mm -hmm. they're working with you. What else, Mr. Todd? The second one says, if one falls down, his friend can help him up. Okay, so I can't think though, Mr. Todd, about falling down and you helping me up. Yeah. So what would that be? I can think of a couple of times when I've been really sad or worried about something. Okay. And I can call and talk to one of my friends mm -hmm. uh, and they listen to me mm -hmm. and remind me that I'm not the only one who can feel that way. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when you and I talk together, you help me to remember that you love me and that this will be okay. So maybe it really is falling down and having a friend there to help you back up. But it could also be just feeling down in our hearts and a friend comes along and helps us to feel better. I love that, Mr. Todd. What's another one that you read there? There's another one that says, if two people get close together, they will keep warm. Mm -hmm. And I remember sometimes when we've been on a trip, we thought it was going to be warmer mm -hmm. during the day than it was. And we didn't have enough clothes on, like a jacket or a sweatshirt. And we would get real close to each other so that we would stay warm. Yeah. So I think about that, Mr. Todd, and there are some funny memories of those times. But also, maybe it's just being close by a friend so that they don't feel lonely. Mm -hmm. I think it could mean both things. There was one other, Mr. Todd. What was that one? There's one last one. It says, the one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. Yeah. So I'm ready to fight. Well, maybe not really. Okay. I think more like, let's say, when you're wandering around a store mm -hmm. and you don't have any money in your pocket and you see a piece of bubble gum that you think you might want. And I do like gum. you might have an idea, well, I could take that and nobody would see me. It's small. Mm -hmm. If maybe you had your friend with you, mm -hmm. You might think, I don't want, I don't really think I want to do that. Or you might even talk about it with your friend and your friend would say, I don't think God would want us to do that. I don't think your mom and dad would want you to do that either. So why don't we just go home and either get some more money or just forget about it? So instead of being ready to fight, we're ready to fight the devil. Yes. I like that. That's a good idea. I like that. I like fighting for what's good. Yes. Because... I want my friends to be people that help me make good choices. Mm -hmm. Well, Mr. Todd, when I think about friends and I think about how lucky I am to have a lot of friends who do these things with me, it reminds me that I need to be that kind of friend. I want to be the good friend who comes along and helps someone with their work, who encourages them and cheers them on. Somebody who helps them not feel lonely, yes. who helps them fight off temptation and make good choices. I love all of those things. Well, I hope that you're thinking about good friends that you have, and I hope you're thinking about how you can be a good friend to others. Our September theme, the thing we're gonna think about this whole month is this memory verse. Are you ready? It comes from Proverbs. Wrote Proverbs, Mr. Todd. King Solomon King also Solomon. wrote Proverbs. Mm -hmm. He was so wise. Yes. And so Proverbs are like wise saying, sayings, things that we should remember, things that will help us make good choices. And so I love this one. Our verse for this month is Proverbs 17 17. A friend loves at all times. All the time. So most of the time? No. Nope. Some of the time? No. Nope. All the time. A friend loves at all times. They are there to help when troubles come. Proverbs 17, 17. So they're there to help when troubles come. Well, our theme for this week in this lesson is that we want to choose your friends carefully, yes. okay? And so this made me think about 
God has been really sweet to me to give me lots of good friends. And I want to show you something I made. And maybe you could make the same thing at your house. I made a paper chain. So you guys know how to make these. This would have been really cool if I'd had colored paper. And maybe you have some colored construction paper you could use. But I just used white paper and I wrote names on here of my good friends. So Mr. Travis is one of my good friends and he definitely helps me when I'm feeling down or he helps me to make wise choices. Mr. Todd, Mr. Todd's my best friend of all and he helps me with all of those things and we have lots of good times together. But we've also had some hard days and we've helped each other through those. Mm -hmm. um, I have, oh, Miss Stacy's on here. You guys know Miss Stacy and she's a good friend to you. She's a good friend to me. And so I put her on here. I have Katie Mae and Avery. I have Miss Jane. You guys know Miss Jane. She helps teach your class some when we've been at church. Mr. Ben, ben yes. and Miss Audrey. Yes. I could make a really long yes. chain and I'm so thankful for that. I wanna encourage you this week to maybe make a chain of your friends. And remember, as you look at this, that we're stronger when we're together. Mm -hmm. And as you look at your chain, hang it somewhere in your room maybe and think about those friends. Remember to tell God thank you for those friends and then remember how you want to be a strong, good friend for them as well. Well, guys, we're excited that this whole month we're gonna get to celebrate friendship. And um, so one thing we wanna do as we finish up today is remember one of our special friends, Della, Della Blevins had a birthday this week. Her Yay. birthday was on Saturday. And so happy special shout out birthday to Della. And um, we're going to do some other things to celebrate friendship this month. But you think about your friends, be thankful for them and be a good friend. Mr. Todd, right. would you want to pray for us? I would. All right, let's pray everybody. Dear God, thank you for today. Thank you for your word that you have given to us a long, long time ago to tell us very important things to help make us wise. I'm asking God for myself, and I want all of these guys listening to also ask you this week, God, please continue to bring me good friends, mm -hmm. and God, also please help me to be a good friend. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. We love you guys. Bye-bye. See you next week.